everyone on the Solar Gamer and welcome back to Civilization V Brave New World as Japan. Yes, welcome back into the world of, well, conflict. Yes, conflict with the Zulus in the area. They have declared war on us uh, last episode. And now we are basically just trying to get prepared to go on the offensive. Now, we do have a source of iron now. And we are working on that, uh, hopefully... Yes, within the next seven turns. So we'll work on a bunch of uh, swordsmen to come up here to reinforce. And then hopefully go in. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. I also want to apologize for the lack of videos last week. I was in California, in fact, San Francisco, um, doing something special that you'll see later on. I can't really go much more into detail about that. Uh, but yes, I am sorry, and everything should return back to normal this week. So everything will be right on schedule this week. Um, also, what else was I going to say? Yes, we're going to change the name of Satsuma to a city that is closer to the base of Mount Fuji than Tokyo is. Yes, and that is Shizuoka. All right. This is a much uh, closer city than Tokyo is to uh, the base of Mount Fuji. So I think that we'll use that there. Um, also, I really do apologize for not settling next to the base of Mount Fuji. I, I didn't... I, I don't know. I really can't defend myself over this because it is a stupid move. But I really didn't think that Mount Fuji acted as a mountain to, uh, you know, buildings. Um, I, I just, I really, I screwed up. I did. I'm sorry. So, I am sacrificing that observatory for two extra science. It's not much, but honestly, yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. I just didn't put two and two together. Uh, apparently, some people also said that other world wonder, or sorry, natural wonders count as mountains as well. Like, ones that aren't even actual mountains, like Lake Victoria, or, um, uh, actually, I don't even know, really, uh, the other ones, too. Yeah, I don't know how accurate that is. But that'd be, uh, that'd be kind of interesting if, if that was the case. Just building Machu Picchu in the middle of Lake Victoria. That'd be interesting, <laughs> to say the least. All right, but um, other than that, yes, I do apologize for that. And uh, I'll keep that in mind for the future. Right, what are we doing now? We are strengthening up Tokyo. In fact, I'm going to move my, uh, my trireme over to this side. See if we can spook the, uh, the trireme that's in this area. And that's about it. Hopefully we build the Oracle. I don't know, though. It's uh, it's always weird going into wonders that you know are going to be worked on by other people. So hopefully we get it. If not, then oh well. A horse. A horse. My kingdom for a horse. Yes, we have horseback riding. Okay, awesome. So we gained horsemen, Circus Maximus, Stable... And a caravansary, which we probably won't ever build. <laughs> Just gonna say that right now. Alright, fantastic. Well, what we can do with you... See, I'm not sure... Should I go ahead and knock this down? Well, let's take a look. Okay, so for production in Tokyo, we don't really have a lot to work with. We have a lot of food. So, I think that chopping this down, just for a farm, is really not gonna be as beneficial as it would be to build a lumber mill. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Because we have all these jungle that are going to stay jungle. So there's no point in chopping this one down for extra food. Because the jungle are already food, you know what I mean? So, yeah, no, we're just going to make that into a lumber mill. Um, but first, I'm going to go over here and work on a mine. No matter what. Alright, let's take a look. Is there a trireme? No. I don't want to get too close to the city. Okay, well, that's good. We'll just keep him over here just to make sure that no trireme gets uh, down this way. Alright, what are we working on next? Um, well, we can upgrade our pikemen. Yeah, our spearmen into pikemen. We'll do that. And then I think we should start heading down towards the upgrades for all of our other units. So, the crossbowmen, the trebuchet, and eventually our, um, our samurais. So we'll do that. So we'll head down to metal casting after that. I really should make my way up to education, but I don't know. I, I really, I don't know if we should do that quite yet. How about the Coliseum in Tokyo? Because we really need all this happiness. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's very risky not going for education this this point in time. I, I really think we should come down towards steel and grab the samurai. And then come up to education. By the way, guys, some people still uh, ask me this. I can queue up technologies by holding down shift and then clicking on something over here. 
Um, that's how you queue up technologies. You just hold down shift and then click on the ones that you want to go in order. And there you go. Alright, let's see. You're all set. Just sit tight. Thank you. Oh, yes. We are working on bringing our scout down over to these ruins. Well, let's really, really hope that we can upgrade this guy. If not, he's going to be very, very useless to me. Uh, and that's sad because he has the uh, survivalism. And he also has scouting. If I lose him, that's just going to be a huge, huge unit loss. Because those promotions are fantastic. They really are. So, let's see. Come on. Please be something good. Okay. All right. I'll take that. That's population. Which uh, city, though? It doesn't tell you. <laughs> no, it does not. I, I have no idea. Right. Okay. Let's see. Market? No, you still need a workboat. Okay. We'll work on a workboat. We'll also work on another trireme. And then a amphitheater. Thank you. Yeah, because I think I'm going to heal him up and then send him up here. Because I just noticed that they do a lot of damage towards the city. And that could definitely help us out in taking out uh, these cities faster. So I definitely want to do that. And I think what we'll do is grab, like, maybe two or three swordsmen. Or maybe just two. Two swordsmen. And then we'll go into the city right here. In fact, what I should do, right, is I should bring this... Uh, Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and move these catapults to the right here. Because this warrior keeps coming back and forth, so I want to take him out. So what we're going to do is move you over there, and then you over there. And then we should be able to attack the, uh, the warrior in there. Okay, yeah, build me one little mine, thank you. And after that mine, considering Tokyo really doesn't have any more tiles to work on, we'll send you down to work on things in Osaka. All right, a social policy, a new one to be exact. Well, I think I'm going to go into honor. It's kind of a no-brainer at this point. We definitely will need this eventually, so going for it now is definitely going to be worthwhile. So we'll do that. Thank you. And chop down that, uh, that force on the mine. Or, and make the mine, I should say. All right, we have one last chance. One last chance for a nice unit. Come on. Please. Please, just give me... The archer. Alright, four more turns on the oracle. Uh-oh. Barometer has been built in a faraway land. Okay, that's not that bad. Oh, a great person has been born. Lovely. Alright. Head down to Ols... Uh, no, actually. Enhanced religion. There we go. Let's see. Second follower belief. Right, I think... What I want to do... I don't know, actually. <laughs> Oh, did we get rid of all of those, um... What? All of the religious buildings are gone. Wow. That is, uh, that's insane. I didn't think that would happen. Okay, well... I guess we'll work on peace gardens. More happiness. And, let's see, do we have... Faster... Yes, I like this one a lot. Religious text is going to be... Worthwhile, I think. So we'll do that. Enhance religion. Alrighty. Four more turns till we can upgrade our spearmen as a pikeman. And that uh, should give us a little bit of an edge on these guys. Hopefully. We'll see. And how many more turns on the swordsman? Now, actually. Wow, okay. Well, first things first. We're going to go ahead and buy one. Right down here. And then I'm going to queue up a bunch over here. So... Well... I will queue up a bunch eventually. Yeah, give me that swordsman before the catapult. Yeah, that'll work. I like that. Set up for range, please. And now we can see all these tiles. Fantastic. All right, moment of truth. Can we upgrade? No, we got culture. D ah, damn it. Okay, well, just uh, get out of here. I don't want to see you. Go find your own ruin. <laughs> You'll give me some mark hand, really. Yeah, no thank you. No. It's not gonna work for me. Shaka. Shaka. Love this theme song. I really do. 
ancient oracle said that I was the wisest of all the Greeks. It is because I alone of all the Greeks know that I know nothing. Yes, we built the oracle, which grants us one free social policy. That is awesome. All right, yeah, come over here to the cotton, please. Thank you. Are we going to work on Mount Fuji at any time? Oh, yes, now. Okay, so five turns. Fantastic. Uh, swordsman. Right. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at... I love these banners. Ah, I love how that's Japan's thing for units. I love it. I really do. Again, guys, I really should restate that this is the red mod pack. Some people are still confused as to what it is because uh, apparently I didn't say it enough. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the red mod pack. It is on the Steam Workshop. And what it does is it rescales and diversifies the units on the, uh, the battlefield, basically. So, as Japan, we get more Japanese cultural units. As the Zulus, they, they get more African style. Um, what else? There's, there's tons of other styles that they can have. Russian, English, uh, just different things here and there that will make them look fitting towards their civilization that they're in. So, I really, really love this mod. It's fantastic. Alright, well, <laughs> as Zulu's chanting away, um, let's go ahead and grab Discipline. So we can get that extra 15% bonus for um, units that are next to each other. That's fantastic. And we're going to move you, I guess, over this way. So that we can kind of just launch an invasion force on this city right away. Alright, grab the last of the fish over here. Thank you very much. And we'll send this charm up. Good. I think we're getting ready for this uh, this lovely little invasion. I like it. It's fantastic music. It really is. Oh my goodness. Uh, what happened? Oh, the Great Wall. Okay, that's fine. Almaty declared... Oh, because we got the Oracle. Yes. Right. That's awesome. Um, Unmet player has four tourism already. Oh boy. That's not good. But we're allies with Almaty now. So that's good. Uh, oh yeah, I was also going to check what Valletta has for a militaristic unit. The Chris Swordsman. Okay, so that is the Indonesian Swordsman. That, uh, I guess... See, I'm not exactly sure what the ability is, but they get different promotions. Um, that are unique to... Uh, see, I don't know, but they get interesting little promotions. And Hanoi. Let's see. Uh, militaristic... Yes, uh, Companion Cavalry. Okay, so those are the Greek units that replace Horsemen. So, okay, I mean, we're probably going to outdate them before we actually have a chance to grab any. But uh, it is it is okay, I suppose. Alright, just getting ready to uh, invade the, uh, the Zulus. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, pull back. Switch them out so that we can upgrade them uh, next turn. Yep, just hang tight. In fact, I really should invade before they get those impy warriors. The only thing that saves us from the bureaucracy is its inefficiency. Awesome, alright, so we have civil service, which unlocks the pikemen, the Chichen Itza, and food from farms, which is awesome. Or more food, I should say, from farms. Okay, yeah, um... Continue to explore, I wanna see what you do. Why would... Okay. All right. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. Go to Almaty, please. Thank you. Upgrade and... Upgrade. Oh, actually, and... We can't upgrade because... No money! Okay, fantastic. Look at these guys. I love the Japanese units so much. They look fantastic. They really, really do. Oh, that's awesome. That really is. Alright, you are fine right there. Thank you. Well, actually, after we get engineering, that's going to be an additional trade route. And we'll go ahead and get a cargo ship. And we'll send it to whatever's going to give us the most money. Oh, they're attacking something. I totally missed it. Good for you. Alright, you're coming back up here. And the same thing with you. Go back. Yeah, you didn't expect to see me, did ya? Nope. And why? Rough terrain. Terrain modifier. What? What? 
Oh, rough train defense bonus. Okay, all right, never mind. And near a great general, right? Well, you might as well attack, anyways. Gain some uh, promotions if you can. All right, so this guy is gonna go on explore because I took both of my um, exploratory trireams up here to defend and basically assault uh, when I can. All right, this worker's coming down here to Osaka to build me a mine and work on more production. Good. We're gonna wait for more swordsmen to come up and then we'll be good to go in and hopefully take out um gun gun Tlovu before they get uh stronger units. Yeah, actually that works. I think. Yeah, we have two golds. Perfect. Thank you. All right, we gained that swordsman. We'll give you rough terrain as per usual and go up there. Lovely. And I think what we're gonna do is send them in like that and from here right there. That way there we get both of our swordsmen on land quickly. Quickly and efficiently. And I'm not sure what I want to do uh, over here because I would lose my flank if I brought this guy over. But I think I should. I don't know. We'll see it, you know, whenever I... Actually, I could... Well, no, we need more um, more gold and stuff, so give me a mint first. Yeah, I'm not too sure exactly what I want to do with more melee units down here. I want to add more, but I, I'm not sure. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go right there into that gold tile. I'm going to let them hit me, and then we'll see what happens. And then I'll just heal myself, I think. Actually, that's probably a bad idea. Go back. I just noticed that they have two cities that are in range to hit me and an archer and a warrior. So that's not very, very safe to do so. So, yeah. No, never mind. A new unit from Almady? What'd you give me? Oh my god, swordsman. Thank you. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. All right, that's easy. Kill them. Oh, so close. So very, very close. All right, well, yeah, you're coming up this way. Come on. Let's go. We're assaulting gum, 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 gum. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. In fact, what am I doing? I can attack with a catapult. Let's do it. Let's attack. Get rid of them. Instrumental or mechanical science is the noblest, and above all the others, the most useful. Awesome! All right, so we have engineering, which unlocks aqueducts, which we already have in our first four cities because of that um that policy. Uh, bridges over rivers and additional trade route, which I'm gonna take um advantage of pretty much right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Cargo shit. We'll do it before the amphitheater. Good. Why don't you come back and heal? Actually, wait, no, go find this guy. Uh, or just attack this guy, that's fine too. No matter what, you're gonna upgrade, so. Okay, yeah, come back here and work on a guild, please. Or trading post. Alright, with you, we're gonna go ahead and attack you. Get him! Fantastic. And you can't attack him. Sadly. Alrighty. Well, we could attack the uh, the workers over there, but I think I want to stay with my role-playing of the last couple series, in which I don't attack civilians. Now, obviously, attacking cities, yeah, that would kill civilians. Uh, that's the only thing I can't control. Um, but no civilians will get attacked by me, um, unless it's a great general. That's the only exception. They can be captured, though, um, but they, they can't be attacked. That's my rule. I'm wondering if they would give me uh, one of these cities up here. Only because I, it's going to be hard for me to attack through this mountain. And while I would love to attack before they get uh, impies, I, I know that I, I don't think I have that opportunity. You know what I mean? So I think I should take advantage of this right now before I lose something. Let's see. We can negotiate for peace. I don't want Samarkand. I want... Oh, it's only a level 2, isn't it? Oh, that's... Mmm... Why is this a level 2? That doesn't... I'm confused. I really am confused. That's interesting. I could probably get Nobamba and that then. Let's see. Let's take... 
That. Boom. And that. Samarkand. Okay. Um, I really should just ask, but I want to see if I can get more out of it. You know what I mean? So two and four is six, obviously enough. And... Okay, get rid of that, and... No? You won't give me that? Okay, well, he took, um... He gave me um gun 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 gum. Yeah. Create a poopette, please. Thank you. Alright, now this is going to get me what I need. I, I know I really just rushed into that, and you guys really didn't see exactly what I did. Uh, per se, or why I did it, I should say. Um, but the reason why I did that is really because... If I don't make this peace deal now, he's gonna get a bunch of MP warriors, and from, not experience, but from hearing about the MP warriors, he can really crank them out, and they will do a lot of damage. So, now that I have this city, I can go ahead and stage a proper attack, rather than through the mountains, and it would take forever, and I'd probably lose a lot of these units. I can stage a proper attack around Ulundi, and then go in when I'm ready. I think that's gonna be a little bit better for us, and will be able to prepare a little better. So, without further ado, let's go and sit. Let's see, we'll get you in range. In fact, I did this kind of weird. Hang on. You're gonna go sit over here. You were coming up. Um, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Calm down. I wanna look for a second. We'll send you over this way. You're going to sit right on the gold. You're going to sit right over here. And then the other catapult that's coming up is going to sit right over this side. While you sit there, you come down this way. All right, that's a little bit better. I like that. Swordsman can just come in here and we'll, we'll figure things out as we, we get going here. And then the triremes can stage an attack on... Well, there's only one that it can attack Ulundi, but no matter what, we'll have two there just to kind of fortify it. All right, we're good. We are good. Give me boarding party one, please. I know... Okay, so I know I could have gotten some Arcans, which is a much, much better city, but I didn't... See, I know. You guys are probably going to yell at me because I didn't take that, because it is a much better city, but... I want to take out these two cities up here, right? And then, after I have that warmongering penalty, I'm gonna liberate Samarkand and reduce that to nothing, pretty much. So, keeping that under Zulu control is a perfect strategy, trust me. Okay, now I can focus on more of my infrastructure and get my uh, my money back up to par, and my happiness, because that did some, uh, some taxing on that. Uh-oh. Oh, there must be a city over here. Or catapults. Either one really, uh, works. Well, we're gonna have to send you all the way back over here to heal up. But after that, you're free to go wherever you want to. In fact, I'll move you over this way. That way there you're closer to whatever you want to explore, I think. Okay, and you're going there, like I said. You're heading into the city. I suppose we will stage you right there. All right, you're set. Good. Um, for the time being, head to Tokyo. You can upgrade, but I don't want to right now. Uh, now demands whales. Well, perfect, because we're going to get whales once we take that tile, which will be... Never. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to take a little while. Why are you... What's the issue? Why are you starving? Okay, well, please don't... Don't starve all the way. Plus, we also get incense, or, or, sorry, dyes over here. Which is just awesome. Well, if you're going there... If you're going there... I'm not sure exactly what to do. Alright, let's see. So we have a pikeman right there that's going to block this road. So that can attack Ulundi. I think I'm going to need at least two on this side. This pikeman will swing around over here to this side. Well, this guy just goes in here. That's fine. Um, we'll have a swordsman, I guess, right behind this pikeman. So that it'll move up and 
ultimately have two of these tiles. That's perfect. So we'll go like that. And we'll just have a backup swordsman over here. And that'll work. Nope. Oh, we're losing our happiness by one. That's okay, because three turns will be all right. We'll grab that. That's fine. How's our scout doing? Not so good. All right. Well, we'll send him up this way then. Up to uh, Genghis Khan's capital. That works. Stop. Stop. You're exploring. Stop it. You're not making any sense anymore. Head up that way. Thank you. 